What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So what you're hearing is the voice of undefeated three-division world champion, superstar boxer Javante Tank Davis, who's 26 wins, no loss, and no draw, 24 big wins by way of knockout. He's 27 years of age, 5'5", five five with a 67-inch arm reach. He's featured on the show. He's doing interviews. He has a fight coming up May 28th, Brooklyn at the Barclays Center, New York, New York against fellow stablemate, undefeated WBA interim lightweight title contender, Rolando Roley Romero, who is uh, 14 wins, no losses, no draw, 12 wins by way of knockout. He is 26 years of age, 5'8", with a 68-inch arm reach. With that said, Javante Tank Davis has let it be known and made it very clear that he is not happy about fighting Rolando Roley Romero. He wants to big up the big step-up fights, the big names, but he hasn't knocked on the door his promotional company and his promoter and his uh, father-like figure in retired Hall of Fame iconic superstar boxer Floyd Money Mayweather, who is known as Money, retired 50 and 0, turned promoter and founder of Mayweather Promotions, okay? Uh, he has let it be known publicly that he is splitting with Floyd Mayweather, okay? He's let it be known that he's not happy with the way he's being promoted. But at the same token, he never knocked on Floyd's door and told Floyd Mayweather that he wanted these fights, okay? Now, he's featured on I Am Athlete with Brandon Marshall and with Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson, right? And featuring on this fight, uh, Javante Tank Davis reveals a lot. Now, Brandon Marshall, he goes in and he's like, I'm like to be messy. What's your relationship with, like, with Floyd? And he takes the high road. But clearly, every time they mention Floyd Mayweather, he takes a dig. They said Floyd Mayweather is one of the best dressed boxers. And he, ah, is what Javante Tank Davis said, right? Uh, um, a few things they mentioned about Floyd Mayweather. Uh, Floyd Mayweather is one, he's, uh, uh, they asked him, Floyd Mayweather trains hard, right? He's one of the hardest trainers. He said, uh, I don't know. You know, uh, that's what they say. So he's alluding to he don't see Floyd Mayweather training hard. He's clearly, he says that, you know, uh, it's not bad. I ain't say nothing bad. But at the same token, Javante Tank Davis, he stated that Floyd Mayweather was jealous when he held his press conference the same time he held his press conference. No matter how much money you have, you still could get jealous of somebody, right? Uh, so we know there's tension there, okay? Uh, what Maybe it's a family tension, a big brother, little brother tension, father-son tension, right? Uh, these things happen in, the, in in real life, okay? And so with that said, okay, he was asked about uh, um, who he wants next. And he, he says that I'm not going to tell y'all who they had lined up for me next. But what I want is the winner of Devin Haney and George Cambosis Jr., uh, then he goes on to say some things I don't agree with. He says that, you know, um, if that fight can't come to fruition, that uh, he can't get the winner of that fight because they have a rematch clause. He states that, well, then he have to go to Ryder Ryan Garcia. And as you can hear, they saying, well, uh, um, George Cambos is Devin Haney. They have a rematch clause. They have to face each other again. And then Devin Haney is probably going to have to fight uh, um, against uh, Vasil Lomachenko on the back end, right? So Devin Haney and George Cambosa's fight for Undisputed June 4th in the States, June 5th in Australia. And um, uh, the win, if Devin Haney wins the fight, he's going to have to re immediately rematch George Cambosa's in Australia again, okay? Um, but with that said, he signed a, a deal with ESPN, top-ranked legendary promoter Bob Arum and ESPN. Jo uh, Devin Haney did. He was with, he's, uh, he's, a, a partnership, right? We know he has DHP promotion with father, trainer, manager, and CEO Bill Haney, okay? Um, but they did a partnership with Matru, Matru CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn uh, and the zone. But in order to secure this fight, they wanted for Undisputed, they had to go to route ESPN because George Cambosis Jr. is with Lou DiBella, but they don't have a network and they have the A-side 
uh, because they have all the belts. He's a newly crowned unified lightweight world champion at 20 wins, no loss and no draw, 10 wins by way of knockout. He is 27 years of age, five foot nine with a 69 inch army. Devin Haney is 27 and no 27 wins, no loss and no draw, 15 wins by way of knockout, 23 years of age, five foot nine with a 72 inch army. So, um, He's saying that Javante uh, uh, Tank Davis, he wants to win in that fight, but they have uh, business that they have to handle. So he says that he's going to want to fight. Then Ryan Garcia makes sense. Uh, and they asked him, as you can hear, you know, is that doable? Because it didn't come to fruition. It seemed like y'all was in negotiations. And he said, yeah, it was we was oh, we was there. He was the one that turned it down for a false fight with Manny Pacquiao, legendary eight division world champion, iconic Filipino superstar boxer that was never real. I agree with him. So he says that that's the route I would have to go. And I'm never going to say one of these guys are the best uh, pound for pound top five, top 10 guys because they're in my division. I got to fight them, but they're all good fighters. But then he says that he could make more money fighting him than he could have made fighting Manny Pacquiao. Right. So he says that uh, um, you in a lose lose situation, Ryan Garcia, if he fight Manny Pacquiao, but he fight me. Right. He has a better chance to beat me. So he's saying that uh, uh, you it's a, a big risk fighting Manny Pacquiao, right? But if you fight me, you know, uh, the risk is not the same. So you're in a lose-lose situation fighting Manny Pacquiao. And then he says that you can make more money fighting me uh, uh, than you can fight anybody, 15 to $20 million, right? Um, I highly doubt that they're going to get 15 to $20 million when they face, face off against one another. It's a big fight. Uh, it's a it's a credible fight. It's a respectable fight. But uh, for them to get 15 to 20 million dollars to fight each other. You, now you're talking about heavyweight money. You're talking about you getting in that range of that Canelo Alvarez money. OK, uh, when you fight Canelo Alvarez, guys like Billy Joe Saunders and uh, get eight million or, you know, uh, um, Caleb Plant got 10 million to fight Canelo Alvarez. So now you start to talk about and you start venturing off in those areas. Ryan Garcia has done nothing. He has a big fan base on social media. He's a social media star with uh, young adults and teenagers. His numbers don't translate to the sport of boxing. Okay, he's never done pay per view. Uh, it's never he's never translate. Now is it a big a big fight? Yes. Can they get fifteen to twenty million dollars? I highly doubt that. But let's listen to what he had to say once again. And you can hear him dig at Floyd Mayweather again uh, and reveal they had somebody lined up for him to fight that he has no interest in fighting. So he's going to say, um, I can't tell you who they had lined up for me to fight, but I'm telling you who I want to fight. OK, so clearly they already had somebody in mind for him to fight next. And he's not uh, um, too happy about that either. See, he said, I can't say who they have set up for me to fight next. And uh, you can hear the reporter telling him, well, you can say who you really want to fight next. You don't have to say who they had. I can't say who they had set up, set up for me after, but I want to get the one out of Devin and Campos. But don't you think they're going to fight twice? It's probably a rematch cost them. Now, here's what's interesting about this. Uh... If you didn't catch it, he said he wants to fight the winner of Devin and George Cambosis Jr. He had the opportunity to fight both guys. Javante Tank Davis from junior welterweight on down is the cash cow. He's viewed as the cash cow, the pay-per-view star, right? He sells out the Staples Center in L.A. He sells out the State Farm Arena in Atlanta. He sells out in Baltimore, and he's going to sell out in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center. When this is where he made a mistake by allowing them to choose their opponent, to choose his opponents without him uh, um, protesting and, and demanding certain fights. And then later on in this interview, he says the reason he don't call out names and the reason that he don't push them to make fights is because of the politics and the, uh, um, the roadblocks that happen behind the scenes, the business behind the scenes, right? Um, but again, when George Cambosis Jr., beat Teofimo Lopez shockingly to become the unified champion. 
his promoter, Lou DiBella, stated that their number one objective was to secure a fight with Javante Tank Davis, right? In their next fight. That was their number one objective. Number two was to secure a fight with two-time Olympic gold medalist, three-division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer, Vasil Lomachenko, who has 16 wins, two losses, no draws, 11 wins by way of knockout, 33 years of age, five foot six with a 66 inch arm reach, right? That was their, their next objective. The number three objective was the guy that just makes all the sense for Undisputed was Devin Haney, okay? So, when asked about this, Javante Tank Davis, he stated that he'll fight George Cambosis, but he didn't want the belts. Well, that was their number of objective was to secure a fight. So if he wanted to fight with George Cambosis Jr., he actually could have had to fight with George Cambosis Jr. before he fought Devin Haney or J Lomachenko was the option. So he could have pushed for that fight. So when he's saying that it's time to put the big boy pants on and, and spread spread his wings and fl and flee and flee the coop, these are the opportunities that you're missing that you should have knocked on Floyd Mayweather's door at that point in time and said, "Listen, I want to fight George Cambosis Jr. because he could have fought the for the unified belts against George Cambosis Jr. Picked up those belts and then fought Devin Haney for undisputed. Let Lomachenko fight Devin Haney for the WBC title." then he could have fought George Cambosis Jr. because that's the route that they wanted to go. I don't agree. I think that the fight for George Cambosis should have been automatically Devin Haney, but he had the option to, to make the fight happen. He dropped the ball on that. So you hear Javante Tank Davis, and then again, he digs at Floyd Mayweather. I don't know what they had scheduled uh, or who they had for him to fight, uh, but clearly uh, he had no interest in fighting who they want him to fight, okay? Uh, and, you know, uh, uh, he's letting it be known these are the fights that he want. Um, he stated, you know, I know people are going to say, how come he didn't call out, uh, 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 um, why didn't he call out Lomachenko and say that's a fight he want to have next, right? Um, uh, but he can't, he, um, Lomachenko, he's saying that he don't know if Lomachenko is going to be able to make it back, okay? Is he going to be available? So we, the unknown with Lomachenko, obviously he's in the Ukraine on uh, 10 toes down the soil defending his country. So we don't know what's going to happen with that situation and when he's going to resume his career in the sport of boxing. So that's why he didn't mention Lomachenko. So he said, the next best option is going to be Ryan Garcia. Okay. Um, I think that Javante Tank Davis has to learn that, you know, he said he's, you know, uh, he's going his, his own route. He's going his own route. Uh, he did get Floyd Mayweather, but he, he, you know, he took the high road. So uh, he's saying these are the fights he want to make. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all, man. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all in one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like your shitty videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.